Wow, it's so crazy to see these things in the wild. Man, I've heard the technological advances they've made on these things, absolutely insane. The efficiency is peak. So this right here is an ultra efficient gaming PC that we're building in honor of Earth Day. Because today is Earth Day, we decided to donate to Team Trees and EarthDay.org to, well, contribute to the cause. And you guys should do that too by checking the link down below. But today, we built a super power efficient gaming PC featuring a, well, RX 6600 and i 3 f And we're very excited to show you guys the performance and how little the wattage is when you're gaming. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by, well, us and our PC selling business, PCBros.Tech. Matt and I founded PCBros.Tech because we wanted an affordable and more importantly, trusted company in the PC selling market, especially the gaming market. And if you like how we do our PC builds, you can buy one directly from us by going over to PCBros.Tech. And we also have laptops and a bunch of other cool tech stuff at pretty good prices, along with awesome warranties. So you don't have to worry about something failing on you and being lost without any help. So use the link in the description down below to go check out the website. And on top of that, if you use code TOASTYBROS2, you'll get 2% off. That code is always in place. And on top of that, we have amazing sales from time to time. PCBros.Tech, thanks for sponsoring the video. Look what we did. Let's get right to the video, shall we? All right, guys, so to kick this off, we have the Intel i3-12100F, which is a four core, eight thread. You could also go 13 gen and get the 13100F, which is still a four core, eight thread. But these are very, very power efficient. And don't be fooled by the i3. I know a lot of people see this and they're like, oh, that's not for gaming. These i3s can support up to like a 6700 XT or like a 3070 with minimal bottlenecking. Now for the motherboard, we have this Asus Prime H610i plus DDR4. And this is honestly just a cheap budget board, but it does have two four pins. It only has two RAM slots um, and it does have an NVMe that is Gen 4 capable. The actual uh, PCIe is also Gen 4. So it has everything we need and nothing that we really don't. So I mean, in terms of power efficiency, it'll probably be pretty good. But yeah, it's just a cheap board. You could really get a Z6 690i if you want that upgrade path. Now we have some G-Skill DDR4 and this is 16 gigs, 3600 megahertz. We got some nice fast speed and it's RGB. You don't really have to go RGB, but we do have a few RGB things in here because we wanna make that nice green and brown aesthetic really come together. And then for storage, we have this Mushkin Temptist 512 NVMe M.2 SSD. You could go Gen 4 to get even more performance, but hey, this is already gonna be really fast and you can find some Gen 3s that are almost as fast as Gen 4. Yeah. Now this is a graphics card we've been using a lot recently. This is the RX 6600, more specifically the XFX Swift 210 model. And the reason we use this card for this build is because it's incredibly power efficient. You get 1080p high refresh rate performance and even 1440p if you want to, by only sipping on about 132 watts total uh, when this thing is under full load. So very, very power efficient and it fits well in this Earth Day themed PC. Now speaking of efficient, we have this power supply right here. This is the Thermaltake Tough Power GX2 600 watt. Now this right here is the important part. It is 80 plus gold efficiency. Now, yes, there are 80 plus platinum power supplies and stuff like that. But for the level of build we're doing here, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to spend a ton of money on that. But we have 80 plus gold efficiency. So we're making the most out of the power that's coming into this power supply. And it's 600 watts, not crazy overkill and enough wattage for upgrades in the future. Now, the one downside of this power supply, as you can see, it has some kind of nasty ketchup and mustard cables that we don't like. But we want this build to look really clean. So we got some cables that match the Earth Day theme. These are some Asia Horse cables cables that come in like a tan, brown, and black color. See if I can pull one out of the package so Jackson can get an up close look of it, but here you go. So uh, yeah, it looks nice. It's gonna be a great uh, accent to the green case that we have right here. But yeah, very excited to use these cables and make a overall Earth Day themed looking PC. This right here is the Tower 100 in racing green. I don't know what's racing about it. Maybe it's running, I don't know, but it's green. And uh, yeah, it's a good green color. It's not like some of the cases out there that are like neon green and uh, not the color we're actually going for. We're going for again, an Earth Day themed PC. I feel like y'all should do a drinking game based on the amount of times I've said Earth Day PC and to make it it even more earthy, we have this. What, what, what is this technically? Vines. Vines. We have vines that we're going to drape across the PC. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful, but uh, yeah, excited to see uh, what this PC looks like when we put it together. It's gonna be really awesome. And then we're gonna test it in some games and see how much power it actually pulls. Thank you. 
Alright guys, we're playing Halo Infinite, and this is a new map, but I got Matt actually monitoring the wattage right now. What are yeah. we at, Matt? So this is actually, it's funny, when we were loading in, we were at like 220 watts, but we've kind of settled at 195. That's pretty crazy. Now one thing I do want to point out, guys, because y'all sleep on the i3, we're at 1080p, like full 1080p, no downscaling, high setting preset. So one off from the maximum settings of Halo Infinite, and we are only using 52% of our CPU and almost 100% of our 6600. Mm -hmm. For all you people who probably heard when they were like, oh, he said it can support a 6700 or 3070 with minimal bottlenecking. What a loser. Well, who's the loser now? It can do it. It can handle it. Yeah, wattage wise, we're getting, we're pulling about as many watts as a PS5 or a new Xbox, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And which way am I supposed to run this flag? Oh. I'm never oh. playing on this map. I've never played this map. Is this like a Halo 3 map or something? Or? It's pretty similar, yeah. I have a shotgun. You can, you can get them real good. Oh yeah, that was easy. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Where am I? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. He, he was, below my he shot. was like one tap. Dude, these guys are, this guy's seven and one already? Get him. Triple kill, please. Oh my god, I'm almost out of ammo. Oh. Damn. Dude. Oh. What's this guy? I feel like there's a guy crouching up there. Or freaking. Th oh! He blended Dude, in with the team. These teammate. guys are. Are they just. They're not even gonna take the flag anymore. Oh no, guess uh, what? This isn't fun. Old bones. Sitting up there, saw him up there. <laughs> you guys took our freaking battle right. I already know he's trying to do a little loop de loop on me. Ah, oh, defeat. Well, that's Halo. That was. But hey, we only pulled around 195 watts. Pretty crazy. Good for the environment. This game, not so much. No, Next game. It's not, it's, it'll hurt you. All right, guys, we are in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, not for the first time ever. Just kidding, we actually did it and I didn't record. But anyways, these are the settings we're running. Medium, low, balance preset. I got FSR going, and uh, so far, pretty good FPS numbers, if I have to say so myself. Yeah, notice just with the, the settings and Call of Duty's optimization, we're not even using 100% of either of our components, which is pretty awesome. And, and, you know, so how power efficiency works, essentially, is no matter what, the PC itself, minus the power supply, is going to pull the same amount of watts that it's going to pull. The efficiency of the power supply is basically just how much energy is wasted coming out of your wall outlet. Um, and typically it does mean better components too. Like an 80 plus white power supply um, is typically not going to have as nice of components as like a nice 80 plus gold or 80 plus plat. And that's kind of how they get the high efficiency rating is by using really nice capacitors and um, you know, really good heat dissipation and stuff like that. And I honestly don't remember, you guys can look it up. 80% efficiency, I, I want to say, or 80 plus efficiency is probably like 90 or maybe 92% efficiency. But then, yeah, you can do the math basically to see how many watts we're actually wasting in a way. Um, by looking up the percentage and then look up, divide that by 180 watts. And I would guess we're probably wasting around 20 watts. Um, that's my guess. Okay. Oh. Not need much. An electric blanket uses about 200 watts. A humidifier. Seems kind of running on this time. Oh, you <laughs> sneaky little guy, you. Oh. oh, wow, that was a quick run, but hey, you know what? Got kills, ran great, and it was very, very power efficient, but yeah, awesome PC, very power efficient, and great for an Earth Day theme. Um, oh, was that the final kill? That was the final kill. You did it. Boom. Let's ride this video real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking our Earth Day PC and overall it did really well. I mean, in terms of the actual performance, mm. it just absolutely rocked every game we threw at it at 1080p. I think you could definitely get into some 
1440p with this thing as well with minimal issues. And on top of that, I mean, under 200 watts at full load. And of course, the main purpose of today's video is for you guys to go donate to some awesome causes for Earth Day. So definitely check those links down below and contribute a donation to, uh, well, keep the Earth going. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this gaming PC down below. And if you want to build this thing yourself, also check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links that will help us out. And uh, comment down below what you think of power efficiency and how important it is where you live. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this awesome gaming PC will be for sale at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even PC Bros and Toasty Bros merch. If you use Toasty Bros 2 and check out, you'll save 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.